Well, this is strange. G'day mates and welcome to Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront, because we need many turtles for this game. I gotta say a big thank you to Barbwire Studios for giving me access to this game, especially after the last time I reviewed a game by Digital Mindsoft. This game's rather weird, you don't need to have Call to Arms installed in order to play it, but you do need to own the game Call to Arms. Call to Arms was like the modern military version of Men of War, which was the World War II strategy game. But then Gates of Hell Ostfront is a World War II version of Call to Arms, meaning that we now have a World War II version of Call to Arms, and a Cold War version of Men of War, meaning that these games share themes, and these games share themes, and honestly, I don't know what the hell's really going on anymore. So far, Gates of Hell has two campaigns of five missions each, a dynamic campaign called Conquest, which you can play in cooperative mode, which I think is really awesome. The usual multiplayer you'd expect, Max or get out of here, and a units library, just in case you wanted to see a 300mm BM30 round up close. For today's video, we're gonna do missions one and two of both the USSR campaign and the Germany campaign. Reasons being, I'm not allowed to show missions three, four, and five of either campaign until the embargo drops. Also, I've just realized clicking on this campaign started Soviet music. I don't know how many times I've had to say it, but Men of War style campaigns have been some of my favorite things in RTS history. Red Tide is one of my favorite games of all time. In fact, I even think I made videos on it on the channel way back when. I'm doing the tutorial just so I can see any differences between this and Men of War, but like Men of War, you can command your guys or you can take direct control of them. But the big difference in Call to Arms is that you can go into actual third person. Here we go. <laughs> Military issued toes. Just as a bit of an aside, yeah. one of my earliest memories as a kid was actually playing a game just like this. I think it was Soldiers Heroes of World War II. It's back in the day of fat PC monitors. I do distinctly recall this one mission in which the whole objective was you to find fuel for your tank. Uh, but I was a young and dumb child and didn't realize that, so what I would actually do is just take the tank and drive it as far up the map as possible before it ran out of fuel. And then once it ran out of fuel, I just use it like a turret. And I don't know why, but that, uh, that's some of my earliest memories. I might understand why I like RTS so much. There are two ways that you can refuel a vehicle. Speaking of fuel, actually. Oh, this is cool. So you zoom in, you actually get a little sight. You can place different weapons on the tripod. Wait, what? By default. That is Double -click on the machine very, button. very the machine cool. Button. I have a real soft spot for static weapons. I, uh, in fact, made entire armor off just showing them off and they got put into ace. Are you absolutely sure? Going for a jaunty stroll through a minefield. Oh wait, we're invading Poland, but we're actually fighting the uh, the Soviets. So, okay, we're at the start of Operation Barbarossa then. I was actually telling my mates pretty recently that I'm really excited for games like this because there's just not enough games that cover the Eastern Front. In fact, there's very, very, very few games that actually cover the Eastern Front um, compared to the absolute shitload that cover the Western, the Pacific, every other theater. Uh, it's just the Eastern Front is so forgotten about, weirdly, when it comes to video games. You should dig your own entrenchments. Hell yeah! Soldiers hey, you, I steal his fucking hat! Yes, the true skill in Men of War is stealing all of your opponent's shit until you have one super soldier equipped with 30 bandages, 5 hats, and 3 different rifles. Yeah, get him, Sonny! Hit him with your Luger! Just like this. Yeah, just like Leggett used to do. Shit, he's out of ammo, I think, completely. <laughs> Fuck yeah, had 8 rounds! Alright, grab the knife, you're gonna need it. Grab anything sharp, anything that can kill. Damn, Mosul was a good movie. The tank may be broken, but the man isn't. What the fuck happened to your upper arm? The best part of any Men of War mission is when you hijack the tank that you're gonna use for the rest of it. There we go! Holy shit! Let's, uh, let's break that so they can't use it again. Would anyone else like to oppose my entrance to this village? I fucking dare you. Oh, the single political officer! <laughs> Oh, he tried his hardest. Wait a second, this thing's amphibious? Really? I don't know if it's amphibious anymore, honestly. Oh, look at the brave little Russians. Oh, they surrendered! I think this guy surrendered in a mid-run, so he's just stuck in pose. Let me test something real quick. Huh. Your own tanks are immune to your own mind. That gives me a brilliant idea for some multiplayer bullshit. All right, we're gonna start with the German campaign just because we did the tutorial in German. If these missions end up being really long, I'll split this into two videos, but otherwise it'll be one. Oh my God, and we're in. It's October 1941. Oh, I like this already. This is really good. Operation Typhoon just entered its third week. The final push to capture Moscow proves very hard for the Wehrmacht. Now that the Rasputitsa is frozen solid, the offensive may be moving quicker, but it's also getting very cold, and the Germans are not equipped for winter. 
That doesn't change the fact that they are still in a hurry to get to Moscow. To get there, it is essential to capture the towns along the Moscow Highway. This road, one of the few paved roads that lead to Moscow, is absolutely essential to bring forward the reserves and supplies that will be needed for the Germans to capture the Russian capital. In an attempt to trap the 32nd Army, which is defending Vyazma, a two-pronged attack is staged to take the last major town on the highway before Moscow. This mission is part of the North Pincer, which moves forward to cross the Dnieper River at Glushkovo. This small village will prove a big test. The attackers will need to be very cautious and very quick at the same time. It will be paramount to secure this river crossing as quickly as possible. So for this mission at least, we've had a third panzer group. Let's go. Why is it almost oblivion music? We get a 213 and we actually get the uh, 38T, the check tank. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, we can bring a bloody, uh, a mortar, no, a bloody mortar, was it? Uh, infantry support gun as well. And, uh, two heavy machine guns. Holy hell, they really start you off with a big army, huh? Holy shit, they've hidden a tank in this house. <laughs> Fuck, the sniper just hit the shield. Finally, there we go. What a shot. Hello there, tank hidden in building. I would like for you to fucking stop. Oh, mortar shell landed among my guys. Oh, fuck. Do I go back and save the lieutenant? Mmm, thinking about it. Really? All right, I guess the medic will do it. <gasps> there is a tractor! It's called a Stalinet. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, I can't take it. Are you shitting me? You used to want to drive tractors in the old games. I want to drive this one. Fuck! Oh, schmuckler. Yeah, he's my sniper boy. How much would it fucking suck to get killed by a guy called Carl Schmuckler? It's like a name from American Pie. Oh shit, there's a T-28 coming down the river. Okay, it is dead at least. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> I want that tank. I really want that tank. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I was gonna get the sniper to handle it, but I think the tank did a good job. There's actually a commissar in this bunker over here. Nice. Did he just cry like a fucking baby? Oh my god. We have the rear machine gun. We have the two turrets. We have the front machine gun. And we have the cannon. Oh, and we got this guy just sat in the back having a good time. Oh, they broke the fucking engine on the T-28. Well, at least it's killed. Oh, it's killed another T-28 actually. Hang on a second. I have a plan. Let's take this one's engine and put it in mine. Mm, I don't think I'm getting that engine back. Oh shit, they brought a KV-1 up. Uh, hmm, okay. Panzer, you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to leave, mate. Very nice and slowly, because I don't think you can kill that thing. Please die. <laughs> Wasn't there a famous KV-1 that survived like, I don't know, like 160 shots and eventually they had to sneak some guy up with a satchel charge to blow it up or something? It held a road on its own. I, I seem to recall this. Is it? Is it even operational still? It's just there. Just sat here menacingly. Something, yeah, okay, you know what? Hang on, hold on. We got, we already got the back of this. We have a satchel charge. Here we go. All right. Get out, bro. I got a job for you. Thank you. All right, now fucking run. Oh, that worked. That worked really well. Back to square one. The last of the Germans will... Oh, hello, a sec. Wait, what? Don't know what this does, but a regular sounds the most fun. So I'm gonna go with that, since it's the only one. I can only choose one, basically, because I'm only doing one mission for Germany today. And then we'll switch over to the USSR. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, this is me! The Fuhrer said we'd encircle the Bolsheviks in Moscow by Christmas. I imagine he failed to specify which Christmas that would be. Ah, uh, I'm a jokester. These men are artillery signalers. Their flares will mark the way for Hopner's 4th Army Artillery. Okay. And we get the Luftwaffe ZG-26 to help out our ground forces. This mission is an hour long? Holy fuck. Okay. All right. Oh, hello. We've, we've repainted the tanks we've stolen last time, I see. Holy shit, we actually have no reinforcements. Okay, so we've got just whatever we've got, and that's it. Keep some reserves in the rear to plug holes in the defense. Oh. These guys, I guess, can be my reserve. Oh my god, this is this is what Men of War is great for. Like having these like massive. I, personally, I actually prefer the small missions where you get like a squad 
but like having this sort of massive array of defense is really cool. I do wish there was a little bit more of an intelligent AI sometimes. Um, a few games have that where there's like a, a lower level AI that works pretty well. Thankfully, the Soviet artillery can't aim for shit. Wait a, wait a fucking second. They're hiding a Panzer Jaeger in this shed. Oh, this is actually a really nice little hold down position. Wait a second, I've just realized when they said player, I wasn't actually like, I was the commander guy. I'm the rifleman who was with them. My, uh, my name is apparently Dieter Natchman. Meet me, everyone. N nice to meet you guys. I'm currently in this trench and uh, what have I got on me? I need to put my helmet on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. No, no drop, drop this. Put helmet on. There we go. Now I look a bit safer. The signal flare is not very long. Okay, here you go. Fire that. Whoa! All right. The artillery is very strong. We just can't really use it at this sort of range. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! What a fucking shot! Three tanks with one shot! Oh my god! Also, the animations on this are really good. Hang on a second. Fucking L3 with one shot. That's like if a wearabrew was actually right sort of moments. The German 88 could kill three tanks with a single shot. It took 37 Flying Fortress bombers just to take one out. Infantry would run away at its mere sight. Oh, here it goes. Okay, it's coming from the, uh, from the south. Here we are. Oh, there's two of them, actually. Oh, there's three of them, actually. Oh, this looks good. <laughs> Hasn't actually killed anyone, though. Nope, these guys are 100% fine. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. That's a lot of Soviets. All right. Uh, we got to... We got to start bombing some shit here. All right, here come the planes. Oh, it's so fucking cool. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. Holy shit. Fire some artillery that way. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get this guy to stay here. He's giving me my forward artillery observer. What the hell's coming on over here? What? Oh, you're sexy. All right, the Soviets are coming from the southwest. We've uh, pulled these new guys into a fresh line. I'm actually going to extend my line so it kind of goes on a diagonal like this up to here. Uh, and that way it'll watch the back of my current line as well. Oh, yeah, and I bombed their convoy. Oh, my God, that worked well. This defensive line's actually working really well. We've got some more trenches dug up front. Got a little bit of tank trap spread out there. We don't have any mines, sadly. Oh, God, I've just seen a lot of bad boys. Thank you for spotting that, planes. Now, please also bomb it. Oh, beautiful. My camera's moved a bit. I was trying to get a good view of the shot. I like that the uh, the shake in this isn't actually just camera shake. It genuinely moves your camera. Oh, what the fuck? Did that hit a tree? I feel like the Soviets might need to bring a few more tanks. Uh, artillery signal. I'm gonna need you to call that artillery a little bit faster. And there's a second avalanche. Okay, man, I'm gonna really need that artillery now. I can see them knocking over trees. Oh my God. What a shot. Can't believe I was watching that. I was actually just coming over here to rearm this artillery. That artillery's not done enough to stop them. Oh God, okay. You got any more artillery, mate? Oh, fuck. Don't kill my man, please. He's just hiding here. Please leave him alone. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh! No! Run! 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 Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! You... <laughs> he just did a fucking front flip. I'm gonna need you to get up right now and start fucking running, mate. Leg it! Fucking run! Holy shit! Max Schwartz! You somehow idiot, but hero at the same time. You just called artillery on your own position and lived. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, we don't get any more air support. Yep. Oh, wait, no, hang on. We're gonna go find him and destroy him. Okay. Hold on, I have an idea. Max Schwartz, I have a mission for you. You fucking hero. You absolute bloody legend. This is your mission, and you don't have any choice but to accept it. No! Max Schwartz! Fire your round, hero! And then run! Max Schwartz. Max Schwartz. 
No! You'll always be remembered, Max. You did your part. Holy shit, it fucking worked! Max Schwartz, you fucking hero. Uh, hey, you trying to fix your tank that Schwartz broke? Oh, that's a damn shame. It's a damn shame Schwartz's friends are coming to get some revenge. Here we go. Oh, they're jumping in their tank trying to take cover. Sorry, mate. But there's no AA to help you. <laughs> Why did it look like he tried to execute the tank before he died? That was fucking awesome. God, this mission's great. Oh, I accidentally ran over the commander. Are you doing okay there, commander? All right, he's fine. <laughs> he's, who the fuck ran me over? Yes, it seems there's a tank looking at me. Draw the Luger. Fucking tank. Uh. Oh, that. Run away, run away. It's going to land on my head. Run away, run away. Uh-oh. 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 Kill the T-34, please. Oh, fuck. Can you not look down for... Oh, shit. Um, uh, uh, has anyone got... Here we go. Enter tank. Go. Ooh. Wow, that did not kill that. All right, I have a solution, but I'm not going to like it. I only had to hold out for three more minutes. <laughs> it's fine. Their sacrifice was worth it. Oh, fuck. They're breaching the line now. Holy shit. Wait, I don't think that actually killed any of my guys, but it got the tank. Fuck, I'm smart. Uh, that one, that one definitely killed some of my men. Well, that mission was easy. It was good fun. It was also probably a bit long. They probably could have condensed things down a little bit. That was a full hour of just defending, but there were some good damn moments there. I'll always remember you, my man. I'll always remember you. <laughs> Cannot believe he took out everything there with one shot. What a hero. Oh, wait, we have to go salvage a tank? What? Okay. Is there, a, is there a KV that I didn't just fucking delete? Uh, I'm pretty sure I uh, fucked that one up. Hang on, where's my engineers gone to? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys. Guys, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of trying to look for this. Oh, shit. This mission isn't over. Oh, fuck me. All right. Soviet artillery. Soviet artillery killed by a Soviet tank. Just like this. There we go. <laughs> oh, and I've killed myself. Excellent. All right, I uh, hate to break the mission. Yeah, oh, thank God. There was no KV-1 tank in the entire map. I blew them all up. All right, I think that's actually where we're going to leave it for now for this video because those missions were much longer and bigger than I thought they'd be. And I think I've got enough stuff for one video. Next time we'll do the Zarudinu. Uh, we'll do the USSR missions one and two. And uh, then when we can actually do the full campaign, we'll do the missions three, four, and five for both of those uh, campaigns. They're good fun so far. I'm hoping for a few smaller missions though, you know, where you actually just control like a squad doing stuff as opposed to just a gigantic army as we had for both of those missions. Until next time everyone, thank you all for watching. I'll see you around.